Hi everyone. I just wanted to make a short video about a pedal for upright bass I just received and started using. As some of you may be aware of, I did an in-depth video about impedance matching or impedance considerations when recording or plugging a piezo-based pickup system, which are most pickups for the upright bass, into a regular bass amp or mixing console. Check it out here, I'll link it. Through the years, I've owned and used somewhere between five and ten uh, preamps made specifically for upright bass, and they all have high impedance input to be able to match the piezo to the amp. They've also had various types of EQ. A couple of them have had really basic EQ, like just bass and treble, and a few more have had all sorts of bells and whistles, like compressors, like sweepable mid-frequency, like notch filters, and even reverbs and effects. The most important part of using a, a preamp or a, some kind of device between the bass and your input, that being an amp or a recording console, is to align the impedance that the input device is expecting to see to what the upright bass's pickup is actually giving. I was really thrilled when I discovered on this marvelous creation, the internet, that somebody is making a pedal which is just a buffer with an input impedance of 10 mega ohms and an output impedance that suit the inputs of bass amps, of mixing consoles, etc. And that is TH Audio uh, Piezo Buffer. It's really simple. You plug the bass in on one end, amp in here, and then it's an on and off button. And this is, this is not a button that controls the buffer that turns that on and off. That would be pretty pointless. It's actually a mute button. So when the light is on, you have a signal. When it's off, you have to press the button to put it on. It can be practical if you have a tuner that, or if you have one of those clip-on tuners and you can't mute through a tuner. It also has a bright button which merely lets you control slightly how much of the highest frequencies get through. And a phase switch, which uh, switches the phase 180 degrees. One setting might sound a bit more bassy, the other a bit more midi, and you just figure it out. So, how does it sound? Well, I had the joy and opportunity to participate in a concert for, um, for national TV the other day. I played about half of the TV program on the upright bass and the other half on uh, electric bass. So this was my debut of, of the pedal. And uh, I must say it worked exceptionally well. My biggest concern with all the preamps I've been owning and I still own uh, is that I'm paying, basically what I'm after is to buffer the signal so I get a natural bass tone, right? It's a bit unclear what is doing what. I'm sure the buffering is doing what it says, like if one preamp says it's got a 10 mega ohm input, it has a 10 mega ohm input. But then it goes through all kinds of EQ and compression stuff, and I don't know anything about the quality of these. If I'm paying $250 or $300 for a box that does it all, I'm not so sure, you know? So I'm thinking I'd rather have this that does the buffering. It's a buffer. It's not a buffer and an EQ and a compressor and a coffee brewer and what have you. It's a buffer. It takes my ultra high impedance signal from the upright bass and it buffers it into a manageable impedance for my bass amp or sound card or mixing console. This makes me more confident in my sound. If I need some EQ, I can always use an EQ pedal after the box. That also goes for, for compression, for a tuner, for whatever. The very important thing though to remember is to always, always plug the double bass pickup into this box first. Because the load the pickup first sees is what decides if this has any effect. So if you think that you're going to be smart, that you're going to put a tuner and then this, if you then have a tuner which has a 500 kilo ohm input, you're, you're loading down your pickup just like you've always done. Because this then sees whatever the tuner is feeding it 
which will be then 500k or 200 whatever comes out of it so always have this first never anything in front of this but after here you can have your compressor you can have your eq you can have your tuner whatever so I recorded a couple of uh, short snippets and I'll play them for you now and I'll comment on it afterwards. I'll first play a section without the buffer and I'll comment on that and then I'll play a section with the buffer in. So this was the bass straight into the sound card, just a jack cable from the bass into the sound card, into Cubase, no effects, no editing, nothing, just how it sounds. I think this sounds pretty good, I mean, uh, I'm using the, the David Gage Realist, the original copper plate thing. I've always thought it's been a little bit boomy, a little bit bassy, uh, which it is. But as you can hear, it sounds quite balanced, but there is, you can hear some harshness in the mids. I feel like it's not entirely balanced. There are some frequencies that are popping out, like when you hear the tack when I'm uh, hitting the notes a bit harder, it's, it becomes slightly unpleasant to my ear anyway. But this is kind of how we're used to hearing a piezo upright bass signal. So this is like our default sound, right? We all recognize this kind of sound, this, this kind of nasal attack, uh, not too much bottom, and it gets worse with different other pickups. Uh, this pickup has quite a high output and quite a lot of bottom end. I've owned several other pickups in the past and they've had various kinds of problems. Now let's listen to the same instrument just plugged through this and then into this. Do this doesn't boost the signal, by the way. So I didn't have to reduce any gain or anything into the sound card. Here we go. Back to back, it sounds as, we, as if we've lost this mid, which can kind of feel like we're losing some presence, but it, it, it's not really. It's balanced it out. Instead of having like a peak, like, in, like a, a bump in the high mid somewhere, this little unpleasant thing, those I feel are completely gone now. So, sending this signal to an amp or to a front of house will let whoever is EQing or setting up the sound have a much easier job. If that is you on your amp with your bass and treble and mid settings, you're going to have an easier time dialing in your tone. The same for a sound uh, or monitor uh, technician. They don't have to pull out a lot of this harsh mid frequencies. They can kind of leave their EQ flat, maybe put in a little bit of mids if they want that definition, maybe uh, put in some uh, filter for the, for the really low bass if, if it's getting muddy. And I'll say that during the recordings of the TV broadcast the other day, I was using in-ear monitors and I've never had a more natural sound in my ears of my instrument. I could, it was really easy to intonate. It was, it was a joy to play because everything just sounded so transparent. It sounded like the instrument does. I never had that with my preamps into the mixing console and into in-ears. That's always been a little bit of a compromise. I'm amazed that there aren't any large companies that make a simple buffer for upright bass. So this is going to come with me on every gig from now on and I'm going to leave all those fancy preamps with all the bells and whistles at home. This gives you the most natural starting point. The only problem I have with this pedal is I wish the power input was on top and not on the side here. All my power uh, cables, or most of them, are angled so that means I need to run the power cable 
this way towards where, where I'm standing, my feet. So the, there's another cable going here. I would prefer to have the power input on top. I'm, I'm going to highly recommend this to whoever is interested in the market for something like that. Instead of shelling out $300 on a preamp with all the bells and whistles that aren't really that high quality, get this one. I think there are $129. You'll have to check it out. I'll, I'll link the site below. So uh, you get what you pay for. You get a very high quality buffer and nothing more. This is exactly what you need to get a good starting point for your upright bass tone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, send me comments, put a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.